It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Pain Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Aaron Dessen, Certified Financial Planner at Pain Capital Management for this week's Market Update. This week, the Philadelphia Fed's Manufacturing Index shot up to 51.8 in March from 23.1 a month earlier, representing the highest level in 50 years with a reading over 50 signaling expansion. The Federal Reserve said on Wednesday that it expects the U.S. economy to grow at a much faster rate than was forecasted back in December. If economic news surprising to the upside lately sounds familiar, that's because we have been hearing it throughout the year as economists continue to revise their forecasts upward. A lot of optimism surrounds the fight around the coronavirus and our ability to resume some sort of normalcy. As of Wednesday, a total of 113 million coronavirus vaccine shots have been administered to Americans with nearly 40 million people fully vaccinated. Investors anticipating a rosier economic picture ahead sent interest rates higher, selling high-flying tech stocks and wreaking havoc on the bond market as the iShares 20-plus year treasury bond index is now down 15% for the year. As the economy begins to reopen, money is starting to rotate to the sectors and asset classes that stand to benefit the most, the proverbial reopening trade. Smaller company stocks are now outperforming their larger counterparts as the Russell 2000 small cap index is up 17% over the last three months, outpacing the S&P 500 6% return. Energy stocks are up over 30% and financial companies have returned more than 15%. There's a strong argument to be made that this trend is here to stay. As COVID cases persist downward, the vaccinated rate rises and lockdown restrictions fade away. So with positive economic news continuing to roll in, commodity prices and interest rates starting to rise, the question every investor must ask themselves, is my portfolio positioned to benefit from the upcoming post-pandemic boom waiting just around the corner? 